good morning and good day. At least it's a good morning over here. It'll be nighttime by the time this goes out. But regardless, well, it'll be nighttime in <laughs> my part of the world at least. But of course, yes, you Lord. might feel quite differently about the uh, Central European Standard Time. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ooh. Apparently, this is a morning of sneezes. Despite being the... Um, Warmest day in Denmark so far. 24 degrees is what we're going to see at the zenith of the sun's power. Um, and until yes. then, I guess I'll just we have to sneeze along. Tomorrow. And bring you an this episode of Dale. Dale lands. number five. It's Mombo number five. And Prince Mombo Brand is man. heading to Mistland because they kind of rhyme and we want to see them united, as it were. And maybe we'll be offered a bit of help by Withergild. That would be charming. That would be very, very charming. Um, and um, in the meantime, we're just building up our recent, mm, shall we say, uh, holdings. The places we have taken thus far. Developing them into lovely stuff. And then in Buralj, our lovely faction leader has uh, fought a number of battles against the forces of Dol Guldur. Uh, which we will also be fighting a bit more in the days to come with troops that we are currently training as well yes because we need to send some reinforcements down there we've got the archers pretty much down still but we need some melee forces in here it cannot be denied and then we just need to uh, get some culture buildings in there and sort that whole thing out and then continue to uh, build our presence along the river hoping that Torvinian will also take up the mantle of Rovanian's protectors but if they don't we will don't worry don't worry ah, and uh, we are enjoying a uh, lovely lovely black tea from Sweden today well I mean the I assume the leaves are from somewhere slightly warmer than that but the, uh, the blend has been made by Swedish mines and uh, I think that's worth celebrating as well so hello to my Swedish neighbors if any of you are watching uh, I salute thee with Malmö tea ah. Rubard Merchant's Guild yes I'm interested keep it coming <laughs> one day we'll have the cash and Dale gets some troops. Hello, hello. Your will, my lord. Mm, my yeah, lord. and we want to send these guys south. Yes. We'll make camp here. Soldiers to it. Dale is still in the relatively safe place. Later. And look at that. Utknaz is coming, and he's not going to wait for us to get there. So we're going to have to fight a battle without them, it seems. But I guess we can, sort of. <laughs> so many archers, so many archers. Oh, hello, Erebor. Bumber, how are you doing? Hootsman, bonny day, is it no? Oh, yeah, the mighty fine bonny yes, day. Um, let's see. Uh, you are heading to Rubar, of course, so, yeah, let's just With continue honor. that. We can go no further, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. And let's lord. see, what's the situation here? Oh, my lord. With a guild, you yes. glorious man. To battle. Glory, okay. Honor, well, we have a spy in here. Victory. Let's see if we can attack the place. That would be fun. We shall engage. Oh no, we can't. We shall prevail. I will not well. waste words on you. Okay. Usually, what happens when you start besieging a town upon which both you and an allied AI have designs, so to speak, what the AI tends to do? is to go around the settlement and just start smashing up AI armies around it. So I'm going to hope that uh, they just do that Your and uh, will, sort of keep our flank, as, as it were. That will be very, very nice of them, I think. <laughs> and until then, uh, let's um, just end another turn. We're not... Uh, yeah, we're building a few things. Some trade buildings coming alive soon, which is nice. Um, we should probably start getting to these as well, but we want to... Uh, Commend the tomb first, so Is we'll need to get to that. Yes, you can pay to know where I live. Thank you, mortal. Your plan seems balanced enough to me. Very well. Okay, lovely. Goodbye. We are besieged. 
So, they come, they come, they come. Let's see what they come with. And if they come with trolls, I request to shit my pants. Um, yeah, put the Skilliath under attack. Worse than the Skilliath, that is. Mr. and this besieged. And we are to get to know the Kingdom of Gondor, which might be harder than you would think, because we'll need to uh, get through a few places. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to go around Without the Arganath. As you wish. Over here. Stopping here. But that should be enough time. As I long as Gondor live, don't I know, shall doesn't lose tomorrow. Cannon had, for instance. But look at this garrison. My lord, they should be taking back uh Kaandros with that stuff. Anyway, that's uh <laughs> that <laughs> I guess they don't need my opinions on that. Let's put my, uh, these archers into a fort. Then go to Escorts, I guess. Um, what do we have here? Bur al Q stalled. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Bur Kopis gets um, a port and now gets roads. Wonderful. And Winterio has built its great hall. Nifty, nifty. Um, still a lot of corruption around here. A bit more than I'd like. You know, that 10% uh, public order bonus could be pretty nice. Look at what that does. Like a nice little uh, clean improvement to corruption there. Which will only increase as the population does. And Howard, you are Whoa. going to live out and you shall make this a prosperous place. Then we can take uh, these guys. Let's take them and send them to us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So with the girl just hanging out here with us, let's see if we can attack. We can. Yes. Magical. Well, let's do that. It's time for Mistrin to fall. It's that simple. Um, command this army in battle. Sure. Why not? And then Urach. Um, yeah. You will not be able to hold us, my dear enemy. Here we come, like a storm of a thousand arrows, flying at your face, and no amount of golden armor can protect you from what you are about to witness fall upon you. But it's not their capital anymore, they moved it for some reason. Crazy buggers. So, our stated aim here today is to make our allies do all the dirty work for us. Or at least as much of it as we can possibly manage to get away with. Um, because, ideally speaking, we would like this army to move on to other, more well-defended targets. So. Our spy has done it! He's opened the gates! Yay! Okay. So. With a guild, your command, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to attack at once. Just move in on the buggers and don't let up. We want them to come in first. And our archers have the opportunity to uh, shoot a few off the walls, which is fine. Though I doubt they will hit a single soul. Uh, oh wait, it's over here. What? They're coming out at us. I, I actually did not see that one coming. Rune, are you alright? What is the meaning of your madness? Okay, the dragon riders are routed by sheer force of arrow fire. And the south one defenders are now running back. Okay. okay. What a strange turn of events. And now they're running back. What? Rune, 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 you're drunk. Go home. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Go home, Rune, you're drunk. Oh wait, I guess you are at home. Well. Never mind me then.
Okay, if we're just gonna draw them out like this. Um, hooray. Yeah, just charge those guys, please. Um, if we over continue here. like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah. Let's all just run in and smack those defenders on the skull. Very nice. Okay. What's this? Dragon Guard coming in hard. Oh dear. What a weird battle this is. Capture those guys, please. Hearth guard. There's a dragon rider over there. He needs to go. Our men are in command of the city. Ah. We've lost control of the city. Ah. Well, Thorinian, you were trying so, so hard. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Sure, they have. Yeah. We just need to route these buggers, and that's not too difficult, actually. So, uh, hooray for that. And we're not even under arch uh, tower fire because they don't have any troops, any functioning units near the towers. So, let's make, uh, let's keep it so, right? We're just going to keep it like that. Um, and then we'll come in and shoot these arch uh, these defenders from behind. Set you guys up there. Gonna set you guys up there. Gonna set you guys up there. It's gonna be very nice. Come on, you can get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're running this way now. An interesting choice. What are these guys playing at? Okay, what is it? Our men are in command of the city. Athala Rangers, pull back. Pull back. I guess. It's dead. Let the men of Dale do the business. We don't need to shoot anymore, really. All we need to do is smack them on like the this, head. We will smack smack the them on the head. Smack them till they're dead. All we need to do is smack them on the head. Come, brave dwarves of Erebor. Run right this way. Where are you guys? Oh, that's where you are. Okay. Let's also get uh, Brandon on this. He's barely done anything the entire battle, and I would be pissed if I were him. So, uh, here you go. Get involved. Very nice. So, Rune, say goodbye to your defenders. What remains now? The 
enemy general abandons his men. Oh, these guys do. Okay. Behold how our cowardly And there they go. Runs. Lovely. It's time to press the attack. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. So, yeah, we killed about as many uh, of the enemy <laughs> as Vitigil did, but uh, we lost a third of the men. So, um, yay. <laughs> what a strange battle this was. But fun, fun stuff. Uh, so high five to Dolwinian. Thank you for good teamwork and uh, thank you for dying for our cause. I really do appreciate it. Ah, welcome to Mr. and everybody. An honorable, um, glorious victory, my lord. I guess we can occupy this place. Let's do that and build some standing stones. I will not waste words on you. Do you need to do something to Barthan? You think? Well, you. maybe, maybe. How is Grim doing here in Elgea? Are, are you able to leave this place? Yes, my lord. Eee. No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. We'll need uh, some additional stuff in here. We have a tomb, which is good. Um, so we get the stronghold. Maybe we'll get a great hall. Yeah. Okay. A couple of turns. We can wait a couple of turns. But for now, we have Mistrand, and that is a fine prize indeed. Mm. Board Marlinge. What do we need here? Well, I mean, getting some standing stones up wouldn't be too bad, actually. We just need a bit of everything. <laughs> some trade, some growth. And we need to grow... Taxes are not that useful right now, so we can drop that a bit. Same with the uh, Book Carapus. You know, we're making more money from our conquests now, so we can we can drop the taxes a bit. Focus on growing these spots of joy and peace. Oh, what peace we have brought to this land. Um, okay, fairground, followed by Motors Wharf, followed by Shipwright. I think that should be nice. Let's get this place booming. My Lord. And, um, what else? Orders. Eric, come this way. March to Grab that fort while you can. Later. I suppose we should also start considering military expansions around here. We have a Lord's Hall. What do we need in order to uh, upgrade our uh, practice range? We need the Lord's Hall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we will get that. Um... We'll also get in there, it, get that in Eskaroth, obviously. Um, and we need um, a barracks here as well. Because we need to take our military development seriously. Right now we're focused on economy, and rightly so. But, um, times then be changing. And, uh, oh, I worth it our horse guards here. That's really good. And of course, the barding marksmen are nice to have around here. Guard barracks, you know. Yeah, Mistrand gets it, you know? <laughs> so, um... So now we need to take a look at these places. I shall continue. And the most valuable settlement in our immediate vicinity is going to be the Steps of the Wayne Riders, or Mataram, which uh, is around here. So we're going to take a good look at that. Because those mines be wealthy <laughs> and trade be good. <sighs> oh, it's it's nice with a sometimes it's nice with a good strong black tea in the morning. Wouldn't you agree, dear viewer? <laughs> I bet you would.
And if you don't, that's fine too. There's room for all sorts of tea. So let me know what kind of tea you're having. Um, or what kind of beverage indeed. I mean, if you're having coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. Whatever gets uh, you in a good mood and makes your day better. Mr. Enders overrun, and hooray for that. Oh, hello, Tukrul. You come just as Vithigild has lost his interest. And understandably so. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what do we need here? We need... Um, well, we need culture. <laughs> Before we can use any of these military buildings, we need to improve our cultural standing here. Um, and hello to Madhar. It's still a town. But they have a mining network. They know where it's at. <laughs> okay. Let's just briefly have a look at what's going on around here. How well developed these settlements are. Because of course we should also take into consideration what military capability different settlements have. Because neutering their most valuable military settlements will also help us substantially. Um... Dale. You're building Laws Hall. That's very good. Grass Garden has roads. And everywhere is better off for it. Hooray for that. Um, anything special we need. I think a port would be very nice. And, um... Yeah. We have some queues stalling. Ooh! A lot of new generals. Hello. Welcome. Skal, you are coming in a very, very nice spot. Thank you for that. And I don't mean that as a... Ooh, haha. Dudan is coming in Boralj. That just wrecked my train of thought there. <laughs> nice. Um, good. Uh, who else? Who else we got? Thane and Boralj. Very good. You can go yes. to Condovan. Initially, at least. We can also send you to Interior. Uh, and then Halstein. In Rubar. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, here's the thing. Halstein, you can go to Algier. And yes, then we can take this lovely fella and send your orders, him south. Your will, With some help? Yes, indeed. Build a tower on the way, will you? Because you guys are going to be the guards of Mistrand. Very nice. So a bunch of generals. Certainly nothing to sneeze at. As you wish. Um. Then I can. Would like you guys to stand there. We can see what. I'm gonna stick as what do these on. guys have? Ignash. Okay, okay, okay. Not the worst arm in the world. Not the best either. But they got some Goldman Striders in there that can be annoying to deal with. Shall we try to take them on? Hmm. <sighs> with an additional general's unit. I mean, that is very nice to have. But. Hmm. And it would be good to, of course, liberate Bur Arj in general. But it might leave us exposed to nag zag, but yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because it is far better to have the initiative sometimes, and I think this is one such time. We can prevent some devastation of the lands. We can uh, push away these guys. We'll get back to some sort of uh, settlement profitability in terms of trade and. And we can merge our forces. So many good things. Hey, so Mr. Captain of Dale. So, um, 
The mad strat for the lads here shall be to keep Longbowmen up here engaging the towers. Keep a rangers unit over here. And those ought to be the inside crew. Then we have the outside archers. And then we have our royal guardsmen. Then we have our sort of melee forces. Not very many of those at the moment. But then we have some more coming in. And they'll come from over here. There they are. So essentially, we're going to set up over here, out here. We're going to have our main generals coming out. We'll have these units sort of guarding the front of our forces. Along with the generals. Then we'll have um, our billmen and swordmen coming in for the flanks. And our cavalry has an important role because they will need to uh, catch up with some of these buggers and ideally lure them here. That's all they will be asked to do today. So King Bane, he was standing here. New guy? I've forgotten your name. Thor sorry, sorry. Was it Thane or something? I don't know. But you'll be standing up there. And you'll be marvellously happy, I'm sure. Let's bring you guys into line. Don't want any wonky positions leading to wonky volleys. No wonky volleys here. We are Dale, after all. Okay. Dale Cavalry, you're out. Very nice. Um... The striders are going to be a bit annoying, but what I'm thinking is we can sort of charge into the infantry and that should provoke a response. Have a sip of tea, everybody. Or a sip of your beverage. A sip of a beverage of your choice. Maybe these guys can run a little bit. Mm. It's nice. Very nice. They don't have much in, in the way of archers. But I think they have some Mirkwood, uh, like, um, some goblin hunters which are currently hiding. That would be very much like them. <laughs> oh, there they are. Hello, Mirkwood Hunters. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Ah! They shoot! They're firing, sir! They're firing! Okay. Well, did that do something to them? Mm, what to a significant degree? No. But... Those wogs are coming after us, but they don't maintain their course. Okay, so um, this means we shall have to put our Thalar, not our royal guardsmen, to the test. Or maybe we should just bring out everything. It's not like the towers are that good. So, okay, new plan.
We're going to form up in a slightly simpler way. So, everybody, form up regiments. Now, if we move to around this ram, we should have enough range to reach them with our, well, our rangers. So let's make that assumption. Come, my friends. No, not quite. Close enough to lure them out though. Okay. Okay, we just about made it. That's good. Okay, everybody run. They're running toward your billman. And do you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uruk Slayers, please, dear guardsmen. Uruk Slayers. Look at them fall. <laughs> Thala Rangers. Oh. What are they doing? Yeah, they're going for it. Damn it. <laughs> I should have put Guardsmen on this side of things. Anyway. Um Oops, just trying to manage time here. Hello Org Maulers. You need some shots, I think. Shots all around. Shots on me. Um Okay, or Slayer's wavering. Let's be rid of them. Only half the enemy Good. force remains. Guardsmen, run to this flank. Start shooting the bollocks out of these Mukwood Orcs. If they have any bollocks to speak of, let's put that to the test, my friends. Okay. Good. Orc Maulers. Taken care of. Now focus on the host over there. It's gonna be good. And the marauders will be shot. Where they stand. Well, they're not really standing, they're running away. Well, that's all the better for it. Um, how are you doing over here? Not too bad, actually. Run down the maulers, please. All archers, focus on the Dolkul Dua host over there. It's gonna be. going to be the crucial like this, point here. We will smash the enemy. Okay, so we're taking some losses, but they're not severe. At least that's what I will argue. To you, dear viewer. Mm. We're going to need some new billmen, though. Everything is running away now. Team two, go for the hunters. Oh, hello, Strider. Good tidings. And there Enemy goes the general. general lies dead. Okay, good. The enemy army flees the I'm gonna take out as many of them as possible. Those Mokwood Uruks are gold for our Dale Cavalry. Okay. 
we're good. This is a clear victory. Pretty clear, yes. We did take some losses, but uh, we healed a few of them too, which is nice. Some Darlene Billman came back. Some Dale Cavalry came back. Very good. Actually, all the Dale Cavalry came back. That's very, very nice to see. Um, and all archer units performed pretty well. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We'll need fresh reinforcements, though. <laughs> and uh, better quality reinforcements as well. But we'll get to work on that. We come back to find... Prisoners that our enemy will not pay for. Aww. We have triumphed. Too bad, boo who sucks to be you. Yes. Yeah, we need um, these are for infantry retrained. <laughs> Anything else would be slightly name, indefensible. We have conquered, my lord. My king. But they will be retrainable in Eskaroth, so that's nice. Um, more or longbowmen. So many. You have archers coming out of your ears, this Dale. It's uh, quite extreme. Well, let's get some billmen, though. We need to guard all of our flanks with billmen. At least for the time being. Yes, my lord. Um, your orders, my lord. So, shall that be it for now? Well, no, actually not, because yes. Bartan is here. To battle. And he needs a little bit of schooling. Uh, oh, actually, Skal. Um, you need to go back there. Oh my lord, you can't really govern the place there. Yes, my lord. But Brand has decent range on him. Actually, what happens if he just takes on these po these porpoise? He wins. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Excellent. Okay. So, Skal needs uh, to get a little bit better at governing, but staying in a major city like this should give him some perks. Your order, Although it doesn't give him any gubernatorial experience per se, but we'll take that as it comes. Um. <laughs> and of course, this situation will improve with uh, more culture. So, let's aim for that. Um, next turn, please. Oh no. Our diplomat is blocked by Mordor. Well, he is moving through the dead marshes, so... Blub blub. And we come to find our master's merchant skills available. We'll need to uh, raise some cash for that one, though. Let's see if we can do that, because I would love to raise cash for this building. Um... We can delay the way station, but then we'll also have to find something else that we can delay. <laughs> uh... Bumalins, you're building, but you're already on the way. On the way, you're on the way. But you guys have just started a port that we could uh, feasibly delay. And Dale. You're working on it. You're working on it. How about Boral? Yes. Good. Master Merchant Guild it is. Yes, my lord. Togrul. You very togruling person. We'll need to deal with you. But we can do that. We can do that. No problem. Um. Oh, look at that. Enmahath is quite the heavily defended capital. Okay. Well, I mean, that makes the choice even clearer. We are going for Mataram first. Because they're both towns. So we'll let Rune upgrade this one. <laughs> if they have the resources to do so. But looking at the overview, I mean, last time their economy was pretty staggering. I mean, yeah, it's beginning to go down. But look at that. They have over 2 million gold coins. Bloody bastards. <laughs> Your orders, my lord. <sighs> Yes. What do you have to do to impoverish yes, these people? My lord. Uh. Your orders, my lord. Anyway. Your will, my lord. Yes. 
We're gonna put together a strike force of uh, many thousands men, of <laughs> men, and uh, we'll take on yes, my lord. Tokrul. I respect you in battle. Well, Your orders, my I respect lord. you too. I you guess on. in some weird way. Um, you've got some uh, mercenaries there with you, and otherwise a pretty benign army. So let's just make it happen. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. These buggers are not gonna know what hit them. Or maybe they will, because it's pretty obvious. We're sending so many arrows their way. <laughs> it's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put our captains in front. We're going to put our archers behind. And you know what, we're going to spread these Northman archers out a little more. That's it. That's a lot better, you know? Um, all archers will be on guard mode. We shall have some billmen on this flank. We shall have some lower tier infantry on this flank. And we will have these folks ready for the center, as it were. What's going on here? Oh, were well, you guys over there? Of course you were. Okay. Well, if that be the case, then... We can sort of afford to uh, spread these out a little bit more. So let's do that. It, it also helps them fire that they're not quite next to each other. Gives them a little bit of operational wiggle room. So we're going to put these guys up there. Put these guys over here. And these guys over here. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Alright then. Cavalry. You're on this side. Oh, let's also put... Um, let's also put Team 5 over here. Balloon Riders. <laughs> Or at least we're going to put... The skirmishers over there. We're going to join Team 4. Team 5, you're still going to be around here. And uh, then the billmen... You're going to march forward just by a little bit. So we can afford our protection to our lovely archers. As they... Perform their duties with grace and gratitude. Don't try to out archer us. Oh no, you're attacking our swordsmen with cavalry, and you're attacking our billmen with infantry. Well, hello, Ravanian riders, you're going to fail. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, let's uh, shoot those Lockling bodyguard if we can, actually. That's a wonderful target, now that I think of it. Um, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And then we're going to surround that bodyguard unit and smack him. Okay, Guardsman, you, you now have a less good angle. Uh, 
Cavalry, move in for the kill on those archers back there. We are pretty much smacking these guys where they don't want to be smacked. Of course we're losing troops, but uh, that's the nature of these bigger battles and... Oh my lord, we just shot a bunch of our own, I think. That's of course a big shame. But they were the lowest hit troops, so I think we can live with it. Bombermen. Baroon hunters are over there. Let's make sure they're not over there anymore. Our men have the enemy make make him dead. Pursue and run them down. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much all gone, so let's just end Be this. By the victory we have won here today. Okay, heal some billmen. What do we lose more of? Yeah, essentially our infantry units. Yeah. Eh. We can survive it. We can survive. But the enemy will not. And we come back to find... Yes. That they take a ransom. Victory. <gasps> yes, my lord. Crazy. Okay. Now, yes, let's see lord. if Grim lord, is yes, good at managing lord. this place. Yeah, he's decent. He's good enough. Um, and we can make a merchant here, which we will. And Your orders, my lord. let's have a look at this. Um, this Erebor infantry unit is not going to be of much help. You wish. Let's send them back north. Yes, my lord. Um, Dalian swordsman, you can come this way. Armies, my lord. We will lord, need something here, though. So let's put in uh, some militia. Just need to do like that. Yeah, that's decent. Gets the numbers up, and uh, they will be retrainable very soon. As the Northman militia line comes, yes, my lord. becomes uh, yes. we can go no further, culturally lord. producible, shall we say? Orders. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. So far, so grand. Lord, and my lord. We shall Prince Bland is heading south. Um, along yes, with Skal, of course. We should hopefully have a better time commandeering uh, Matram due to its smaller size. Sometimes size... You know, smaller size settlements don't require as much to maintain. Despite, you know, in spite of enemy culture will, and all that. So, do, 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 do. Uh, we have a little bit of cash, so let's throw it at some good rorts, maybe? They've got decent defensive stats. Armor rating, 5. Yeah. Although they are some more expensive, though. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. But let's get them. Let's get them. Um, these fellows can start moving south toward Bur Al. And retraining for troops of all kinds. We'll slowly get going around here, which is good. The Thala Rangers, will they be retrainable here if we get the right uh, rangers? up and running no it's only certain places that get them what what do they need is a from east Mirkwood to Darwinian okay so by that logic Boral sh should be able to get them right I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, maybe they. Maybe it's sort of a. S 
southern thing, but they're of course trainable up here. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wish I knew. But apparently the east side of the river is not able to retrain them. Alright. All the boars. No. Condoven, no. No, we just need to go south into Ravanian, apparently. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Glasgow, you need them. Um, well, you need a port. And some growth would be nice, actually. Yeah. Good. What do I see? But a dwarven weaponsmith coming at me. I'll have it eventually. Ooh, and uh, we could get some trade buildings going here. But realistically, we'll be equally interested in something that brings down this massive amount of corruption. And the barracks just so happens to serve such a purpose. So a great hall would also be nice with the additional addition of population growth. So let's get that one. And then a barracks. Eventually. Merchant and Mistrand. At your service. Come to me, dear Vidikind. Let's be about the business of making would gold mines be profitable? I, hmm, maybe. It seems that they're not so much, actually. A labor camp, Opening a new apparently. Yay! Your orders, my lord. Um, I will not waste words to battle. I will not waste words on you. Yes, my lord. Your orders. You guys. As you command. Smack him up. We have triumphed. Yes, my lord. Joining forces to battle, my lord. Into Mataram you go. Yes, my lord. Madagavia, you're a wonderful spy. Hmm. A tad of corruption here. But we'll help fight that with a great hall. And Condoven. You're building that. I'll get, yeah, you gonna need this. Amazing skilled house. Orders. As you wish. Theron. We'll make camp get over here. Harkin. Yes. First girl off you go. He'll be retrainable in a turn, I guess. These lovely lads go to Borage. More troops for training. It'll be another few turns before we can uh, take our infantry units up a step. But it'll be a lovely day, of course. What should we focus on here, though? Um, we can allow for some growth. And then... You know what? That tomb is going to help us grow as well. And uh, bring up our culture, which is good. That's uh, a wonderful thing to focus on. Many things are building. At um, your service. Eventually, we need to find a great place for this guy. I'm just not sure what it's, what it's going to be just yet. But maybe these mines are going to be more profitable than this one over here. Uh, I don't know. That one's 230. Sending a spy around can be a very efficient way of uh, figuring that out. At your out. Service. But for now, 350 a turn is not bad. Um, it's certainly a, a good help. 
better is a, about as good a help as like the, a road upgrade and the it costs a fraction of that so that's good um yes my lord Rubar, we shall have you grow, I tell you. Grow the farming complex. That'll be good. Then we can put in a herbalist. With future upgrades of the town, that will become handy. And then, um, what else? Well, we have a, an admiral over here. Actually, let's use our admiral to ship. Some folks, around. To when turn or you go, I guess, because we might be able to train, retrain you with the way station. And they offer us this guild again, yay! And we'll say yes, but later, <laughs> again. Um, Durdanis, let's get you over here because I want to see what's going on on the border. This tower will oh, hello, Norway. Is an honor. No, we shall continue tomorrow. What lovely news to see you around here. Um, I begin to think that we should uh, do something with My these Athala Rangers. So, By your command. to escort you, you go for retraining. By your command. I'm going to retain armor for these guys then. Dum, da, da, dum, da, 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 dum. Want more Thala Rangers? Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. But is there anything else we'd like more? We're building all sorts of things all over the place, which is great. Rhubar still needs a bit of cash injection for those farms, but, um... Hey, yes, Erland, what are you doing? Without question, tomorrow's journey oh. planned out. Uh, we still have the time to get to Kalanad. here. Eventually. Hello, Woodman my Realm. Lord speaks highly of you. Um, yes, my lord. Let's retrain the Araboy infantry. Ships ready. Ships ready. My king, yes. I mean, things are progressing, for sure. It's it's all getting better all the time. Rubar is getting more prosperous. Mistran is decently prosperous. All these lands will get better all the time. Um, Orders. We just need all the right things and all the right pl spots, uh, and we need your orders, my lord. Brand to take Mataram. We shall prevail. Haha. -ha. As a bian. Let's get these guys off the map. Shall we? We attack. Tell me. It is butcher and joint them. Butcher and joint them. That's, that's a bit um, it's a bit harsh for you, isn't it? Hmm. I, I didn't expect one to be such a bloodthirsty fellow, but um, what? I suppose um, anyone can surprise you. Oh, 
Our spy has done it. He's opened the gates. And first, we shall try to shoot as many of them as possible as they run away. <gasps> Ooh, the bodyguard comes out. It's perfect. I like it. I like it. I love it. In fact, um, they will not last long against so many arrows, especially when some of them are armor piercing. Ooh, are more coming? <gasps> more are coming, more are coming. Okay. Team four, advance. Team two, start shooting in this direction. As team four smacks up the bodyguard. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All right. Um... Archers, just keep focusing on those raiders. We'll wear them down eventually. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. There we go. Shoot them up, my boys. Shoot them up. And uh, Team 4 will uh, cover for you. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. And they run away. Okay. Quite good. So what remains? A Ballister crew, which is where? Where is that at, anyway? All the way in this corner. What? Okay. In that case, um... Cavalry, get over here. What's happening to you? Oh. Thank you. That little guy just molesting our troops, or at least trying to. Okay, our cavalry shall molest that crew in there. And then um, I guess we should just... Do they have any archers here? Yes, they do. Hunters and crossmen, they're all archers. Okay, our in that case, we'll just uh, s send all the of our melee troops in right away. Take them on. In our favor. Victory will be ours. They'll shoot a bit, but it won't be too bad. Ah, here the Baron Hunters come. But now we enter the town. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Does this distract them in any way? Not meaningfully, no. But our cavalry can take care of this infantry. Actually, they're just archers, so... It's not that bad of a matchup for us, really. They're in a corner. There's nothing they can do against us now. Be awed by and the they're victory done. We have won here today. Yeah, pretty decent. Pretty decent. The tactic of... <laughs> sort of provoking the enemy into sallying out uh, sometimes uh, it, it can be surprisingly effective and it can bring you, can, you know it can it can you know taking the initiative and that it can bring the initiative of the battle into your hands and that's wonderful but I don't know why I am speaking so poorly today I don't know maybe it's because I didn't sleep that well oh well <laughs> yeah. uh. Honorable, glorious victory! Go and sack the place, a they have a merchant's guild, very nice. Ballister Maker, Mason's Hall, they, you know, they've decked out the place quite nicely. So, let's first put our spy over here, and see if this mine is At any good service. for us. 361 versus 350. So, an improvement, not ma a marginal improvement, a very marginal improvement. Um, yeah, okay. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to train a spy, and this spy is just going to scout out the most profitable trade items in Middle Earth for our dear merchant to pursue. And merchants, in case we uh, manage to get more. Which we might, as we take a few more settlements by rune. At your service. But for now, I'm happy with our merchants staying here. Maybe the vineyards are going to be good for us. We'll see. At your service. 361, 361. Yeah. Nothing special to yes, report. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Okay. We'll need standing stones. And we'll need for the place to grow. So standing stones, tomb, and then herbalists and all that. Excellent. Continue as you would, everybody. And so Harad's leader is dead. Ooh, that's interesting news. And we have the cash on hand to get Oh, weapon skilled over here. Morale bonus to everybody, as well as weapons upgrades. At your service. Hello, Ira. You You're strange Lord. person. I will not waste words on you. Journeying away from your fort. Oh, don't like it anymore. Well, I'm happy to see that, because it means you won't be devastating our lands. As girls build some fairgrounds, they'll build... Uh, hmm, what shall you build? Hmm, an archer range? A guard barracks? I'm going to go for that archer range, that's pretty damn tasty. Getting the hearth guard in there. Thank you. Um... <laughs> We may be in a situation where we'll soon find ourselves in a situation where we should uh, consider bringing our capital a bit closer to Mistrand. Not to, you know, it shouldn't be Mistrand, but if we can reduce corruption by any means over here, then, I mean, look at the value we would get. 1500, right? That's pretty damn sweet. Um, so a place like Winter in Eor could be interesting. Condovan. Or well, anywhere here in these lands of Ravanian actually could be uh, pretty nice. But I think these will be held by Ro by uh, Dorwinia at this point. Yes. But maybe if we can take this place. That could be interesting. Um, Leofric's bowing. Your orders, my lord. I'm gonna Monag, you. hello. Yes. <laughs> orders. As you wish. Hmm. We don't get good rorts here. Are they only in um, the Hardland regions? Apparently so. Apparently so. Hi. My king. My lord. Additional soldiers will my be required. Lord. We'll make camp here. We can go to your will, my lord. As you wish. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Everything is progressing very well. Very well. We're building pretty much everywhere. Mr. needs a project. Um, a hero's shrine wouldn't be too bad. So let's get that. And then this place will be ready for some military buildings, I think. So it can truly become the cornerstone of our future conquests in this land. My lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching so, quietly. We'll keep an eye on Anmahath. See where their troops move. I will not waste words on you. At your service.
for now. Our governors are becoming better at governance. Hmm. But I think we can move our capital from Glasgow at least. We could go to Burkalpis or Condovan. Let's go to Condovan actually. It's a very unassuming settlement, but it's in the heart of our lands. It increases incomes from the Sea of Rune quite substantially. Mataram, pretty much the same. Wow. Hmm. Wouldn't have expected that. And now we have corruption to deal with in our home regions. Hmm, okay. But the Sea of Rune is getting more prof profitable from it all. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting development. What yes, happens if we take Lord. Brand out of here? It manages. We which Lord means... Elach, you're mine. To battle. We have triumph. Yes. More authority. Oh. More command. Yes, my lord. He's fearless. <laughs> Your orders, my nice. lord. And yes, uh, my lord. we can also build a tower. Just need to bring yes. him back at the end of it. Your orders, my lord. This but building a tower here will be good. Over the lands. Very nice. Um. Hmm. Orders. So far, so swanky. Then we have Argmund, of course. We're going to send him this way. I'll have to take a look at the vineyards of Dorwinian. We've reached the falls of Lauros. Yay. Archer's Guild in Winterior. I'll have it. Yeah, I'll have it. My lord. Let's say hello yes. to Gondor. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. Absolutely. Will you give me money, though? You are so rich. It's good to see we could reach You're the captain place. general. Good day uh, you lost your leader. Question, oh yeah, I need to I get trade rights with them, tomorrow. isn't it? Yes, my okay, lord. That's it. I shall Luckily, we still tomorrow. have four turns to do it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What to get in board cow piss? Anything that grows the place. So sheep farming. Thank you. That'll be nice. Burgram. Hmm. A single, you know, a standing stone would be nice. Growing this place would be nice too. So. Let's focus along those lines. Because it needs a bit of love in the population department before it can grow. And with Terry and Eor. Um, Master Mason's Hall, eventually. Does this mean that these guys will be retrainable? Eventually, it seems. So, hooray. You're building a great hall, which is good. Okay. All the things are progressing. My friend. Have a taste of my blade. Well, let's uh, bring these buggers to heal. Honor. Yes, Monarch. We shall engage. I'm gonna I've got an arrow with battle. your name on it, sir. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. We shall shoot them until they cry, and then shoot again until they die. And then, I shall no longer spy any blistering goblins with my little eye. Is 
So, where do they start? Uh, like, come on, you guys. Come on. Are you really going to start over there? Okay, well, in that case. Are you going to come this way? It seems to not really be a pressing concern for you, is it? Does it? Doesn't it? But, um... Don't worry, we'll come to you. Eventually. Hello there. Now you're getting into gear. <laughs> Goblin striders. Let's be rid of them. Um, you can shoot the headhunters, please. They're slightly annoying anyway. Cavalry. Begin. Make ready to move in from the sides. Oh, where bodyguards are coming to town? Sort of. Though they seem quite keen on running away from us, so. Right. Hmm. Are you even shooting back at this point? No, you're not. What even is this? Okay. All archers. Only half the enemy force Stop remains. shooting. If we continue like this, we will smash the Ah, that's get that gets them into gear, doesn't it? Smirk! And they're gone. Very nice. Um, yeah, then everybody just fires on the bodyguard, I guess. And the cavalry just moves in on the headhunters. Please the fate. And they are out of here. Oh no! That general tries to run. That general tries to hide. Neither shall be successful. For we have cavalry today. Though the Athena Rangers are giving it a good go. <laughs> I stand as the captain of Dale. This is a clear and there victory. he goes. But it is annoying to fight Dolgalua in some ways. Because they can always bite back in some little annoying way. That can take out light archers pretty easily. So you always lose troops against them. It's sort of... Meh. It's not like Mordor where you can... Where they have so many melee units with poor morale that you can just shoot and route them so easily. This kind of uh, skirmisher based orc army is a bit um, less easy to deal with. 
without losses. <laughs> but that will just be our cross to bear. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. Your orders, my lord. My lord, orders. Yes, we'll make camp here. Your will, my lord, as you wish. Right. So far, so good. Let's have another turn, shall we? I think we can do that. We just need to uh, get you gone. Get you, Vidigavi, into um, Enmaha. And then, Ortmund, you can uh, live here. Take a look at the vineyards. You know, taste some of the wine if you want to. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Are they going to attack in Mistrand? Ooh. What a tantalizing prospect. My lord. As you wish. We'll be ready for we them though. No we'll be ready. We'll train some longbowmen and Algier and um Prepare our troops for the assault that will my lord. inevitably come upon them. Your will, my lord. Yes. <laughs> we'll make camp here. At your service. 85? Ah, oh, because of the change in capital. So how does this change the whole gold mine relationship? Not to our benefit, it would seem. Yeah, okay. Wow, it just made everything less valuable. Vineyard 31. What? Wow. Okay. We'll need to. Someone get this guy to the Shire. Hmm. That's food for thought, isn't it? Um. Wow. Everything is devalued under that. Okay. So we'll get you to those mines first thing. At your service. The vineyard's worth 31. Sir. <laughs> I would never have expected that in a million years. They used to be pretty valuable, actually. So, anyway. I shall continue tomorrow. Wah, wah. <laughs> but maybe it's because we have actually... We actually have some vineyards over here in Eskaroth. How do you have... Isn't, isn't this meant to be like a, a... Like a... I don't know... Northern temperate climate? Northern European temperate climate with vineyards? There must be some climate change shenanigans happening. Um, because, of course, uh, speaking of Sweden, with their tea earlier, um, they have. There's a lot of prospect for uh, Swedish farmlands to be converted into vineyards these days. There's been talk about this. Um, which is, of course, uh, only possible because of a few uh, degrees of. Increased temperature um, over the course of a year, of any given year. Hmm. Best not speculate on uh, climate change models in Middle Earth, though. Let's not bring that into it. But, um, hmm. Cross guard. Um, <laughs> you get Erebor infantry, but not the Woodland Realm units. Okay, that's interesting. So presumably, does this mean that we could potentially get Woodland Wardens over here? Oh yes, it does. Okay, let's build a tomb here. Grass guard, you're building a port. Very nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, indeed. Ah, six turns. Okay. Look at that. All those units we're training. And hello, Gruul. Come right this way, I guess. Um, let's gather up some troops in this fort over here. 
March to exhaustion, continuing later. My lord. I wish you could be retrained in we Dale, I wish you. And, uh... Yes, you're all my lord. Dr. Cruz, you will be defeated by... A brave Captain of Dale. Honor, victory. Um, just keep them off balance, you know? Anywhere else not building? No. We're actually building everywhere. Your will, my lord. As you wish. And in a few turns we'll be able to retrain some swordsmen as well. You guys get to El Gear, and that's command. where you will be retrained. Um <laughs> This place would benefit from a militia garrison. <laughs> that is for certain. I will not waste words on you. Oh, you won't waste words on me, you say. Well. Da 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 da. Training oh, archers. My lord. Yes. We'll make camp here. Hardy hardy ha. Winterio. Hmm. We could train some cavalry, some infantry, and ship them across. Shipping across. Shipping across. Shipping across. Cross, cross. Set sail. Your will, my lord. Woodland Wardens and Eskroth. Yeah, we can train some of those. No problem. My no lord, problem. Uh, Augmund. Approaching quietly. Continue as you would. Hello, Morway. I am but an ally, lord. At your um, service. Yeah, 31 gold. Silk font, 26. Practically lord, nothing. What about these mines? At your service. 127, same as this one. Journeying onward. So we're just going to put ourselves oh there for now. And use our spy to scout out new prospects in other places. Perhaps some of these uh, villages and apiaries of the Vales could be more interesting. But I suppose really what it comes down to is that we need to get to Bree, actually. I shall continue tomorrow. tomorrow it can't be that we're just out. chronically disadvantaged. In the greater scheme of things. That would be... That would be crazy town. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> Orders. Um, over here, we're going to need more troops. So let's bring in some... Billmen. Soon, you know, with this unit and these two, and some of these retrained, I think we'll be able to strike out. Maybe at Leofric's bowing. That'll be interesting. Dear friends, what can we do for you today? Trade rights, please. Seems like until we meet again. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. And now I'll have some tea. And one of our guys is getting ma married. And one of our gals is too, and they found each other. How nice. Lucrative trade opportunities with Mordor. Yes, my Guys, Lord. have you been smoking the wrong weed? Yes. Come on. You bring a proposition for my kids. Um, oh, of course, we make, we're neighbours to them now. So it does make sense. Okay. Fair enough. And we can actually stand... We stand to make some decent demands from them now. Let's do like this. And this, boom, boom, and bosh. All right. Without question, tomorrow's journey planned out. Thane gets married. Congratulations, man. You're turning into a decent administrator, actually. Um. Now, Condovan is our capital. So, really? Yes, my lord. You're not that needed around here. 
There is some sort of um, devastation in these lands. Can we pinpoint that? Just have a brief look around to see where it might be. Is that what it is over there? No, that's not devastation. Doesn't look like it. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Somewhere though. But yeah, he's not that essential to the economy, so he'll just go around building some towers now. Um, yeah. Yes, my lord. Congratulations! You're going on, uh, you know, do you know where you're going on your wedding trip? We on your honeymoon? You're lord, going around the countryside of Dale. Congratulations, good man. Congratulations. Um, now, Dale gets a bunch of stuff now. We can train the hearth guard, which is amazing. Some bombarding marksmen, that's nice. And uh, now that we're at it, let's get some Dale Cavalry in there. Let's also procure an Earl Stables and get a guard barracks up and running. And then we'll take some uh, mitigation strategies for corruption and stall and uh, all that good stuff. Eskaroth continuing down a trading path, which is great. Um, let's also slot in some... Yeah, you, you, you're going to be dealing with corruption, which is good. But we need to do more of that, actually. Yeah, Militia Garrison will take a nice chunk out of that. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, uh, Dwarven Armourer. Mm. I mean, uh, it would be a, a shame not to, right? And it would also be a shame not to build a great hall. As it shall truly help with all things. You can upgrade, so let's focus on that. We can increase taxes, momentarily. Let's put some more soldiers into the world. Ships ready! Leaving the boat. Ordered. You go to Mistrand. As you wish. Lovely. Ships ready. And then you can go back to winter in your. Yes, sir. Full sail. Bury in more troops. Set sail. We can go no further. We shall make Mistrand a very unattractive will, place to invade. As you wish. And uh, we can also uh, my lord. take that the fort over there. Ours. We have won. The day is ours. Quite right, quite nice. Um, Borarsh. You can train a Thal Rangers for armor, I guess. Yeah, we have a blacksmith. Yeah. And what else? Well, there isn't much else at this point, but there will be eventually. Theodor, go into the fort. Alvis. March to exhaustion, continuing mm. later. <laughs> Training of the next generation of Dalian troops over there. Argmund, you are going to continue on your journey to find the most profitable trade routes in the land. I shall continue to at your service. And, uh, yeah, to no one's surprise, there's not much happening around here. Let's just get our walking boots on, on and take Vidokind to the land of pipeweed. I'll continue once I have rested, sire. I'm going oh, hello there. You. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. You're gonna chant it against the greatest generals of Dale. Oh, yeah. Apparently you are. 
I'm gonna ah, you. yes, Shadow Guard. They're decent in the Ultra Resolve. And Castellan's a Dolgaldur, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. We're gonna need some, uh, a little bit more heft to deal with those. Your will, but we'll have some heft. All we'll have heft for you. My lord. We have a plentiful will, roster of archers. And uh, we've got Hearthguard coming from the north. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Ah! And we come back to find a gift from the council. That is my favorite kind of gift. Thank you. Um, what else can we find here? We can find a tomb readily constructed in Burrage. And of course, lovely things to follow. So, uh, where are the Castellans at? Oh, there they are. So they are trying to make their way north. Well, I mean, I'm actually not too concerned about that prospect. We've got troops to deal with you. Mm. Is it time for Dudanis to uh, make his mark on the world? Or maybe King Bane? Yes, my lord. I think it just might be. So we're going to move these three into Borage. We're going to grab orders, my lord. almost everything else. Orders. And leave some billmen behind. And one unit of archers, because why not? And the rest? Yes, my lord. Come this way! Yes. We shall continue tomorrow. Vandermeer, welcome to the family, sir. In Bormalinge. Hmm, okay. Well, um, we could send you to Borgram. There is some corruption that we can manage up there. Your orders, my Yes, my lord. You're a decent general as well. Hmm, yeah, we might need you over here. So let's send you to Borgram first. Making camp here. And let's Your get orders, Thane around here. Yes. Let's figure this out where those over the sources lands. of devastation are. Um. They just, you know, there doesn't seem to be any source of devastation in any of these lands. Yes, my lord. But we're gonna look. We're gonna here. keep looking. Oh, you can get a variety of mercenaries, like Dwarven Travellers and Project Cavalry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Not exactly the place where we need them, but uh, they are there. <sighs> Our economy is growing nicely. Helped along quite well by the fact that Brand is becoming better at handling corruption in Mataram. So that's nice. My lord. More troops toward Mistrand. By your command, we'll make and, camp um, here. Ships ready. Ships ready. As you toward Mistrand to go. Ready. Set sail. Yeah, more lord. troops. Yes. Toward Mistrand. Yes, Full sails. Full sails. Ships ready. Boar Alge could actually also use a, a militia garrison, so let's put that on on the on the docket, as it were. Uh, some extra troops, always handy. Some extra archers up here. I guess that's pretty good for the time being. Vidikind, continue on your perilous journey to find valuable trade. I shall continue tomorrow. And Ogmund, you should also do your bit to see it through. 
Yes, Carver is indeed held by Dorwinian. Perchance we may purchase it at one point. Oh, they have a Navari Traders hub. That's interesting. Gondor has lost another leader. Too bad yes, for you no. guys. I'm sorry. Yes. There's not much I As you wish. can do about that. Stopping I'll just here. say hello to the Northmen around us. <laughs> Trappers, a valuable trade resource, but how valuable is it really? At your service. Nil is the answer. Nil. Practically zero. Um, On my way. Opening a new trade Lumber lane. Four per turn. I mean, Jesus, service. why are we even trying? <laughs> why are we even trying? Um, I'll continue we just need to get this guy west. Desire. There's nothing for you here. Only debt. <laughs> In the wise words <laughs> of prophet seeking Elrond, there's nothing for you here. Only debt. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. More troops for us here. Parting marksman. Very nice. 200 meter range, high accuracy, 6 missile attack. That's a good, good unit. Uh, large town upgrade in Burkaupis. Yes, that's indeed the one. And, um... As such, increasing taxes. Woohoo! Look at that. Yeah, yeah, this place will grow nicely. And its economy will grow with it. It's going to be good and great and grand. All those things, together, in a cocktail that's hard for our financiers to resist. Uh, Bye bye. Well, Bjarne and this managing this place quite well. Anything that grows the place is welcome. Could be a tomb, but it's not. So instead, let's just focus from then on on trade, I guess. With roads first, trading post second. What would be nice here? Well, getting a Lord's Hall will be good. Or a dockyard, actually. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, let's get a Lord's Hall and get some military buildings on the cards. Your will, my lord. Um. As you wish. My lord. Your will, my lord. By your oh no, Fall Sully and regroup. We can go no is coming. Your will. Ships ready. The bugger. Moving ashore. Orders. As you wish, my lord. There will be much honor in defeating you. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Guard barracks would be good. 65% is needed for this one, 50% for that. So let's get the Earl Stables, then the Guard Barracks, then the Archer Range, and that should be a nice succession of military upgrades. Up here we need a barracks. Will be will we be able to use that though? Mm, probably. A militia garrison would be very welcome. Look at that, yeah. So then that and then a barracks. And then our corruption will be lowered all the more. Let's have a look at what our dear king is doing. Yes, my lord. I've got my mindset on you and you're gone. We have triumph! Your will, my lord. My okay. lord. 
By your command, Let's send this guy out. As you wish. Oh yeah, the settlement is somewhere around these parts, isn't it? Yeah. Your orders, my lord. Orders. Okay. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Orders. By your command. Joining Keep forces. the men together. And we shall come out of any pinch, any problem, and be stronger for it. Um, our economy is growing very nicely now. Vandermeer, um, why don't you build a tower here? Honor. On the this way. Tower will keep you know. over the lands. By the way. Yes. Yes. Uh, Thane. Since you're at it, build a tower over here. Honor. We shall continue tomorrow. And then you this get that. tower will keep vigil over the lands. Making um. camp here. Some cavalry, some lumbermen. You know, they're not great, but uh, they don't need to be great. They just need to be good. I respect you in battle. And we come to a battle. Well, maybe a battle. Actually, I think I want to just retreat my forces into the town. We should retreat. Or wherever. We'll make camp then here. ruin this block. We can gather our forces up and then resist them from there. I think unity is strength in this regard. Hooray for that. Ah, the remnants of Angmar move ever on. There is nothing they won't do. But, uh, my lord. let's see, Roeburg. They want to take the Roeburg. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Fair your enough. Orders, my lord. I agree, orders. I agree. Sounds As fun. You wish. By your command. Ooh, Kamul the Easterling. Oh, lord. Yes, oh, lord. My lord. Okay. Well, my lord. Marching to war. let us your besiege orders, them. My lord. Yes, we're combining forces. Looks to me like we're going to need some troops down here. Let's get some marksmen as well. Um, looks some guardsmen. Blah, 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 blah. Slip of the tongue, slip of the tongue. Okay. Mm. We're going to get some archers as well. So we're, we're going to bring yes. Holgir along. And uh, the new general will just uh, sit in Dale and uh, become a better manager and stuff like that. Dominion is resplendent, which is great. Putting pressure on Dol Guldur in any way is positive for our purposes. Very positive indeed. Lovely. Um, guard barracks here would be good. Mm -hmm. The Lord's Hall would be nice as well. Taking away the last bit of corruption. Mataram gets a tomb, and that is lovely. We need a place to bury our dead, after all. And, um... There is an archery range, and there is a stables there already. So that's good. And the place is slowly, but steadily Will growing. My lord. My lord. By your command. As you wish. Let's retrain all that we can for all the armor that we can. Um, we have Ships this little Atwal Bondi over here. Yes, sir. Full sails. We'll just train all the troops. Get them all over there. And then Midstrand will be able to th th cast off these buggers. The Heart Guard has come to Dale, which is great. Uh, we just need to see. I mean, how, what the kind of attack do they have? Seven missile attack, nine melee attack, twenty-five defense, which is pretty darn good. Um, hmm. Glass Guard, you need to build some stuff. You need to grow and prosper. Hmm. 
then I will need to deal with some corruption eventually. So let's get for barracks in one point. But sheep farming is definitely the way to go f initially. And eventually a militia garrison will be good too. Your orders, my lord. With honor. To Burgram you go. Where you shall make all the cash. Eventually. <laughs> They're just not giving up Enma's defenders, are they? Though they're having a lot of troops over here, and their Lok Khan himself, no less. I would fight for your people okay. as if they were Blessed my is own quite the battleground. Friend. And in a turn or two, we'll be able to retrain some swordsmen in Mistrand. Okay, um, let's have a look at, at our merchants. Service. Journeying onward. Oh, hello. The Plains of Sorrow are held by service. Dale. Cool. I'll continue once I have rested, sire. Tomorrow's journey awaits, sire. I'll continue once I have rested, sire. My Argumund. Lord. Hmm. Approaching quietly. And we're also sort of scouting out how Ravanian is looking. It's very much a contested space, as we can see, but um, that's Lamconis just for our advantage. I assume that Mugrish will uh, come at us Lamconis. at Raubourg, and then we're going to have to have a standoff against the the Easterling. Yes, my lord. I hope we can deal with that. Um, Bane is a decent guy to lead this army, but oh, it's going to be tense you. because that. That bloody lad is mad. Your order, you know, we're not just facing low-level troops here. We're facing the bloody Easterling. Arr. Well. Whew. We may have to retreat from that, depending on what comes against us. We'll see. So what are you going to do, Dolgaldur? Are you going to attack? No. You're just going to leave the Easterling in there. Well, isn't that... Fascinating. Maybe something else is drawing their troops. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> I certainly would hope so. <laughs> Thank you, Dorwinian, if that be the case. Um, Alfred is, ex is sacked. Okay. No, Mugrish is indeed having I'm gonna stick you. quite the intent around here. And Norway is being is an honor. backed Noble around ally. into corners. He's been fighting for his life, it seems. Hmm. Okay. Nagzag comes there with some troops. Ooh, earls. Nice. Nice. Let's get them. And along with them, we'll bring some billmen. Why not? Yes, my lord. Then we can take all these lovely folks. We can go no further, my lord. Your will, my lord. Orders. Yes. Merging armies. Your orders, my lord. And then these folks will uh, link up with our forces in Buralj and uh, strike out. Who knows? Well, I think we should uh, start taking the battle to uh, Mirkwood itself. Stick you. Before too long. Condovan gets a barracks. Fun, 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 fun. Um, <sighs> we should emphasize some growth here, looking at this.
further growth will unlock further prosperity. And the Scrolls is focusing on Norse Halls, which is good. Guard Barracks is in our capital. Well, what once was our capital. Um. How bad is corruption yes, in both capitals, generally speaking? It's there, but not to any great degree, actually, so... Maybe we should just, um... Take Lord our lovely Theodore. theory and, uh, yes, get, my Lord. With honor, get him back to Dale. No further, my Lord. And then we can, uh, train a few things there. Train some troops to make them to make the place a bit. Uh, Your orders, my lord. You know, yes. safer. <laughs> we shall continue tomorrow. Ships ready. When they're in your. My lord. You have troops orders. to ship out. As you wish. And you do so. And. Set sail. Sally is. is uh, okay, okay. It's heading. A fine day for Elga, it seems. Well. Can you reach him in one turn? No, you cannot. In you. Hmm, interesting development. Interesting for sure. Well, we'll need a barracks here, anyway. I will not waste words on you. Hello there. Yes, my lord. I have a general with your Shall name on it. Engage. An honorable, glorious victory. Hmm. Orders, my lord. And my hearth, though. <laughs> that army there is quite sizable. But if we bring together our forces a bit, we can beat them. Then we just need to find a way to neutralize Sally. But if we start by putting some troops into El Gear, then um, much will start making sense. <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes. Let's get some cavalry over to Bane. Um, yeah, Escaroth can't really train much. We can retrain some archers, I guess. And then we can At your service. On my way. move our Journeying onward. merchants through the land and move Impossible. our spy as well. It's a village over there. At so what is that service. worth? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is worth anything anymore. Tomorrow's journey awaits, sire. Well, let's check out that tomorrow. mine, just for curiosity's sake. And we come back to finding Umbar besieged. By Harad, presumably. Ruba upgrades, which is great. Um, Elgir gets the barracks underway. Boralj gets farming complexes underway. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. And Holgir. Orders. By your command. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Orders. Yeah. Um, yes, my let's lord. take your troops, move them along. Assembling a mighty host. Your orders, my lord. We shall continue, my lord. Captain Thrain. By your command. Go Join to Bane. Forces, a my oh dear leader. He's under pressure. Hello, New Way. Heading home for some troops? It's a good choice. It's a good choice. Yes, my lord. I'm we could try to take out Muglish. 
Hello, Ricard. Actually, I would be happy if you would join us. Dear friend. Your orders, my lord. Come and smack around. Some of those buggers. Yes, my lord. Theodor? Yes. Theodor? Uh -uh. Stop over in Glasgow. Your orders, my lord. It'll be worth your while to take some of that corruption out of the world. Yes, my lord. Vandermeer is perhaps too good of an administrator for program. We can go no further, my lord. Your orders, my lord. So you can actually go to Glasgow. Yes, the order can go on and uh, take on here. the responsibilities in Dale. And where are the runic forces hiding? They like hiding, we know that. Well met then. I might um, well met there, friends. Ships ready. Well, Bondi will send troops into yes, Algier no matter what. Full sails, as you wish. There you go. Ships ready. Um set sail. Yes, sir. Full sails. We can go no further. And Earl's stables in Mistrand will be lovely. Uh, Your orders, my lord. Uh, let's take some troops from Mistrand at this point. I think we can. Orders, my lord. A couple of longbows. Actually, we'll just leave the will, militia lord, here, I think. My lord. If we take everyone like that. Yes, my lord. Yes. Scald will take on the responsibilities in Mataram. Dale Cavalry, you can be retrained up As here, so wish. let's get you up there. We um, can go no further today. Let's see what we have. Um, we I have know. six units coming in, so that leaves Skald, of course. And then those militia, and then we're sort of good after that. With honor, we're combining forces. Your orders, my lord. Making camp here. We shall continue tomorrow. We can drop taxes for a while. And it, it we lose a yes. bit of income on this, but we need to take on yes, Enma. There's just no way around it. We also want some cavalry in there. So maybe we'll drop off some troops. Maybe we'll drop off a Northman militia unit in Mataram or something. We'll, we'll figure that out next turn. How are we doing here? 93. I mean, it's just not worth it. Just need to move on. On Move on, my friend. Lord. Approaching quietly. Hmm, okay, so they have done all that. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see how Lorien is doing over here. I assume, assume they must be doing okay. Dol Guldur doesn't have the strength to really uh, march out against them in any massive way because we're pressuring them from over here, as well as Dorwinian, of course. Yes, so, my lord. all that put together is uh, a, taste of my blade. a pretty decent alliance, I would say, against the forces of darkness. And it would seem we have a record, a record of our own. We'll have him. Your Luba. Alright. Move south you must. Taking camp here. We shall continue tomorrow. And the one ring is located, that's fine. Ah, hello Sally, so that's where you are. Fair enough. Yes, my lord. My lord. Let's take these guys and send them yes. up to Mistrand. Your orders, my lord. With honor. I will not waste words on you. Orders. Yes, my lord. Bortan. Hello. 
So what do you have? Ooh, some very experienced mercenaries. Okay. It'll be my pleasure to shoot them down. Bor Malinj builds roads and Borgram builds nothing. Oh, My lord. Well, always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. We are friends with Rohan and they want to buy our map information. I am certain of it. Haha, <laughs> pretty smile. Pretty smile, putting on my best Acceptable, face. But only just. Good, good. Until we meet again. Um. Without question. Stop Let's see how things here. are playing out over here. The King's Land seems to be one of stability, which is nice. Now our finances are stalling us no Your more. Orders, my lord. My lord. As you wish. I respect you in battle. You're well, Got a my lord. decent amount of militia here. I don't think we need any more. <laughs> yes, my lord. Okay. Um. Hmm. My lord. Ships ready. Retrain the infantry. Yeah, I'll do that. Ships ready. And. Set sail. And get these guys. Over to Mistral. Extra archers over here. Always welcome. Your orders, my lord. Yes. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. With honor, I would oh, fight Norway has, as uh, if they were my own friend. Yes, yeah, he lord. is fighting our cause, it seems. Okay, cool. And Holgir is coming lord. down to Boralj, and now he shall smash some foes. Yes. So how many yes, troops do you need additionally? Yeah, you need all of them. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, you can also use a dear general over here. We shall Maugaz, you are mine. And this will be the last fight of the episode, I think. We attack. And then my day shall move to purposes new. And this has been a good, long, enjoyable episode, I feel. One of steady improvement and expansion. And now we have some uh, pretty major armies marching out. Two of them. And our economy is sustaining it quite decently. Uh, we also need you guys into... Oh my lord, so many archers. So many archers. Let's put ourselves on top of a hill. In effect, all these guys are our melee forces. Um, and, you know, let's put them into the front line with our generals. Why not? Um, Dale Cavalry, you're doing good. Okay. So, we are just going to take a little moment and assess the situation. Let's put our archers like this. And... We're, then we will put our front line like this. Oh, they're coming toward us. Okay. Better hurry then, folks. Better hurry. Nope. Haha. <laughs> okay, they turn around. This is to our advantage. We like that. We don't want them to get any ideas too quickly. We don't want them to catch us with uh, our feet off the ground, as it were. They're going for the top of the hill. Hmm. Oh, but maybe they're changing their minds. Who knows? Dolgaldor archers. Okay, okay, okay. Put a Merkwood friends on this side and then bring in our lovely generals. 
our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Those marauders are not lasting long very much in our favor. <laughs> against the Victory elves of Mirkwood. Okay, um... Dalian Billman? Yeah. Pick up your bows, countrymen! The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost no quick goblins. Let's smack them about until they cry. Ah, oh, there they go. Okay. Now they're crying. Very good. Um. Yeah. I think we're dealing with them quite nicely. Maybe it's just time for all of our archers to go into melee and run down everything in their path. Yeah, it is. They will fold beneath our combined strength. The enemy army flees yeah, the there field. There go. Pursue and run them down. It's a situation where we will lose more just waiting it out and shooting at them than charging head on into their ranks. And in such a situation, we do well to take them on as they are. We just run them down, every single one of them. As far as possible, of course. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, decent. This is a clear. And we healed a couple. Some woodland wardens. Healing, that's good. That's very nice. Thank you for that, Dalian Billman. Oh, we lost some Athala Rangers there. But they did well. All the Athala Rangers performing wonderfully. And the Hearthguard doing decent numbers too. <laughs> and the Dale Cavalry gaining experience because they caught a lot of enemy units. Hooray! And what do we come back to find? We come back to find an enemy that refuses to meet our ransom demands. Fair enough, I guess. Yes, my lord. My lord. Yes, my lord. I think we want Holgear to lead lord, our forces. And Dudanis is a decent administrator, so he will go in to Barrage to perform his duties. Yes, my lord. And then With we'll move on making camp here. toward East Bite. And as we train more troops, they will head toward Bane. Your orders, my lord. I'm thinking. I'm Actually, let's have a look yes, at this fella. My lord. We're leaving the army. Have a taste of my blood. Huh. Honor, You're done. We shall engage. What? Fall no. Back. We must regroup. Your orders, my lord. I'm gonna How can the? You. <sighs> Surely. Have a taste of ah, my sometimes the order itself just. Will, my lord. Screws with you. And now it's possible that they will actually counterattack us. Well, we will see on the next episode because for now I am going to end this and compose a lovely little thumbnail. And I hope you'll have a lovely day. Um, more Dale adventures will be coming your way on Thursday. And yes, uh, I think Lord. it's going to be some nice ones. In the service. meantime, let's just uh, have Vidikin march through the land and Ormond do similar things. Um, yeah. Quietly. I shall Ooh, okay. Lorian is under pressure over here, but I, shall I think they'll be able to cope, especially when we keep drawing their forces like this. Um, but uh, I shall continue. have a lovely day if you can. Enjoy your beverage, what's left of it, if any, because uh, I assume it must be empty by now after a couple of hours. I can only assume, but um, regardless of any of that. Be good to yourself and those around you, and uh, may the North Star guide you to further adventures as Dale smashes up enemies everywhere. Lovely things are coming, don't you worry. And until next time, I'll be seeing you soon. So remember that, and go kindly into your day.